Hi, I'm Akshay Bhargava. All of us who invest in equity markets know how difficult it is to find good quality information. If you're a hedge fund manager, it is very easy to throw money at this problem and hire a bunch of quant analysts. But you and I as normal investors cannot do that. Which is why we came up with Investor AI, which uses artificial intelligence, looks at hundreds of millions of data points, performs hundreds of millions of calculations, and creates very high quality information in a very easy to understand way. Today, I want to focus on one algo. It's called value investing, and as the name suggests, it's an immensely powerful idea executed in a beautifully represented way, and I hope you enjoy it. So here we are on the home page, and let me show you the value investing algo. Before we do that, let me check that we are set up correctly. The way to do that is to click on the top right and go to the menu, go into preferences, and check what markets are switched on. So I've switched on India, UK, and US, and that's fine. <clears throat> that's good for me. I want to check my sectors, and uh, I've got leisure, I've got uh, real, uh, I've got uh, pharma, retail, and technology. That's fine. Just remember that if auto, for instance, is switched off, you will never see any insights on auto, so you've got to switch it on and off, but that's really easy. So let's go to ideas, the bulb at the bottom, and you will see value investing. Um, I like value investing a lot because firstly, it's a very smart algo. It has shown me companies that I didn't even know about, but when I researched them, I found them very, very useful. And it basically does what it says on the tin. Um, it finds you good companies that are undervalued. Um, so let's go deeper into it. Uh, you'll see a bunch of insights based on my selections and my preferences. You can sort and filter them any way you want. You can um, look at more, so, so there's a whole bunch of them. The red tiles are ones I've not read, so basically my unread box, the white ones are the ones I have seen before. So let's just pick one. Um, so I'll pick uh, Yum uh, China. This is the, the Kentucky Fried uh, Chicken brand, uh, the Chinese entity. So it's telling me that this company is trading at $64 and uh, currently at the 57th percentile of its 10-year trading history. Now, you could say that, look, this is not undervalued, and you would be right. Because, in fact, this insight was generated on the 4th of February when the price was $55. And at that time, it was at the 16th percentile. We have a threshold of 20th percentile below which we consider a company undervalued. And that's what triggered the signal. Now, since then, it's gone up. But the incredible thing is that it's gone up in two weeks. And that's a pretty fantastic uh, uh, price growth and makes me wish I had bought this company on 4th of February. Um, but anyway, and you can see how the signal has moved over time. And of course, the relative value chart suggests that there is some more room for this to go. If I want to know more about the company, I can click on live info at the bottom. And uh, that takes me to Google Finance. And I can look at news and any other articles on the company. Um, you're still in the app, so you can very easily go back. So as you can see, it's very easy to understand, very easy to follow. Um, you'll see a question mark on the right hand side. Wherever you see a question mark, and there are lots of them throughout the app, just click on it and it will tell you what is it that you're seeing. So the question mark attempts to explain the page. Uh, so it's just a little explanation which is quite handy. So the first part of this algo is, is this company undervalued? The second part is, is it a good company? So you go to sector rank. And this tells me that this company is 71st percentile, which is very, very good. Uh, and these are the factors that uh, go to make up the rank. Capital structure, fantastic. Consensus view, really good at 65. Valuation, not so great. But that's because the price has gone up, and we know that. 
and future outlook at 86 is pretty pretty stellar so this is this seems like a really really good company now i could look at all this and say you know what this is a good company but i don't really want uh, to buy it because it's quite expensive so can can you please monitor it for me so i click on monitor and what monitor does it will keep track of this company and if ever the price drops or there is a change or a new insight comes up on this company, it will alert you. So think of Monitor like your personal analyst, you know, doing whatever it is you want them to do. And that's really, really quite useful. The other thing I want to tell you is that it's a, this algo is very accurate. And uh, uh, don't take my word for it. Just click on the top uh, bar, the target button. If you do that, this tells you that in the last 90 days, this algo has delivered at 93% accuracy, which is quite unbelievable. It has generated 256 insights at an average return of 20.7%. So this is incredible performance. Uh, and that's one reason I like this algo so much. And uh, by the way, uh, you know, all these accuracy things are not accident. We have a team that looks at the algo every day. It keeps fine-tuning the algo to make sure it's adjusting to market conditions and market changes. And that is why we get such high accuracy. Um, I can uh, click out of this. And uh, the, the final section of this uh, algo is uh, back testing. So based on the mean reversion theory that if a price drifts away from the mean, it will bounce back. So this is telling me that uh, this company has fallen below this threshold once in the last uh, two years. And uh, uh, had you bought the last time, you would have generated some pretty good returns. And this is the example. The, um, so that's, that's it. Um, the one thing I should add here is that if you wanted to share this insight or signal with your friends, you can just click on the share button and you would open up a whole... Uh, social media uh, option where you can post this on uh, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, email, text, etc., whatever you wish. So that's it on value investing. Um, and I hope you understand why I like this algo so much. It's a 90-day signal, gives me time to think, do a little bit of research and make up my mind whether I want to buy it. Um, and it just identifies what I should be looking at. Going back to the home page, you will see under active monitoring, uh, Yum China Holdings, which is, I, you know, we just triggered that. So I go in here and it shows me the details of movement. All the numbers are zero, of course, because we just tracked it today. And it tells me there is a live insight and we know that because we saw it uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, but it's very handy. And as you can see, there are a number of stocks that I'm tracking and uh, under active monitoring, and you can do it at any time you like. The final thing I want to show you is, uh, if you just uh, scroll through these uh, videos, you will come to a tile which shows you your current subscription. Now, just bear in mind that if you're in the free plan, you have limited access, and you will see just a few insights. But that doesn't mean there aren't more. There are a bunch of insights in the system. And all you need to do is to subscribe to have access to the whole lot. I hope you enjoy using value investing. It's a wonderful, wonderful algo. It's very simply presented, but the information it gives you is uh, just spectacular. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time.